of the Adventure Beer Advent Calendar. Adventure Beer Company, for those who don't know, is um, a company that, that gathers in and, and delivers beers uh, from all over the East Midlands. So lots of breweries on there. It really is a fantastic business model. And, you know, I'm proud of what the the good fellow and who runs it does and does for the local you know beers um for the local community good evening welcome back then and uh, you know in the east midlands good evening steve in the east midlands we are so lucky to have so many great breweries and this year i've discovered so many new breweries and uh, it's absolutely stunning how many new breweries, uh, uh, you know, are back. Welcome back. Cheers. So, day one, I've got my snazzy new Adventure Beer Chalice. Good evening. Welcome back, Jack Man. And, uh, right, it's like Christmas. I, I love, I love Advent. Advent calendars are the best, especially when you don't know. It's a bit like Christmas, really, when you don't know what you're, you're getting. Right. So the can from number 12 is trying to get into the number one door. <laughs> yeah. Get up there, you. Right. Oh, my. Get that can back up there. I'm trying not to look at the can. Right, well. So from day one. And it's one I've not had before as well. That's a that's a blessing. So from the, the good man Red Dog Brewer, this is one of his beers. So Red Dog Brewer is um, a YouTube home brewer who got a job with Magpie Brewery this year. Pow Pow is one of the beers. It's won awards. And I know the, the, uh, the lads at Navigation said that this is one of the beers that needs to go into bottle. It's made it into bottles. So Magpie Brewer. Whoa. And Red Dog Brewer. So this is uh let me get me Mike. Where's the where's the magnifying glass? I'll try and read it. So it's a citrus pale at 4.6%. My legs are burning. I can smell it. Uh, a super citrus pale. Sriracha ace and citra hops create an intensely citrus pale with hints of peaches and cream pow pow let's ride there's a venture brewing brewed on a green energy powered brew kit at magpiebrewery.com i've been to Mag magpie brewery nottingham craft beer festival it may have been mate it may have been yeah i'm sure it was because i've had this on draft yeah, I'm surprised you can remember that night so well. <laughs> yeah. Me and you were steaming. You was I was only just holding on. You 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 had gone and I was I was like holding on. I was like Bruh. so Magpie Brewery based next to um Notts County's ground and actually next to Navigation Brewery of all people. So the new chalice from Adventure Beer, lovely looking chalice. I love it's subtle. It's it, all it needs to be. It doesn't need to have big writing on it. We, you can see what it is. Jobs are given. And yeah, pow pow. It's um, this is a highly rated beer. <laughs> Do you find? Oh, let me stick it up there. The new shelf for the advent season. Do you find? Um, when you go out drinking that when you're sober you can remember everything when it gets to a certain time of night there's like a cut off and you can't remember a chuffing thing i'm like that i went out drinking the other week and uh, and i i can remember everything up to a certain moment after that moment i can't remember a thing and i, I put it down to the fact obviously i was getting a bit drunk or drunk at the time and uh, it's amazing how you can't remember stuff. So, 
lovely crystal clear pour um carbonation off it subtle carbonation i think you can see it in the glass yeah little white head on this <laughs> i think i got up to about 10 o'clock but i can i can remember getting in the taxi i can't remember the late beer reviews where i was going hey although i can remember the shipstons one I can't remember when somebody put a blue monkey hat on my head. So, it's Pow Pow from Magpie. Now, the good thing about Magpie Brewery, they're doing um, like an advent thing at the moment. They're doing 12 mixed beers of Christmas. So you can buy 12 beers from them. 22 quid, good price. And uh, you get 12 beers, they're all wrapped up, so you ain't got a clue what they are. And it's, it's, you know, for someone wanting to buy you something, or if you want to buy yourself it, it's not bad. 22 quid, it's a bargain. And uh, they're a good brewery. Hey, the man himself. Wow, I mean, did you know this was day one? <laughs> no, about 22 quid. And, uh, hey, good evening, Peter. How are you, mate? And they're always, mate, they're always... Yeah, yeah, tell her, tell her. Mike Pie Brewery. Their, their Christmas Advent thing. So it's 12 different beers, all wrapped up, so you ain't got a clue what they are. It's like a Christmas present. This is where Advent candles are amazing. I absolutely love Advent candles. Yes, they're not, probably not the cheapest. Yeah, they're not, maybe not. But, you know, you're supporting all these local breweries. And in the end, you are you will get 75 quid's worth. So in that way. Hey, that's up to you, mate. But uh, yeah, it's good to get the beers up to you. I wanted as many of the beer reviewers that I could get the raggy beer to as possible. Just to say that uh, someone appreciates beer reviewers. You know? Yeah, supporting supporting the locals. It's what it's all about, isn't it? So, seven minutes in, I haven't even took a sip yet. Yeah, that's what you get for talking. <laughs> Citrusy on the taste straight away. Now, Dom from Nav Navigation Brewery, he really, really rates this beer. He says it's one of the best that Navigation, uh, that Magpie have done. So, he'll be happy to see this into, into bottle. And um, yeah, well, we were talking once, and he and he said this is a really, really good beer, and I'm surprised he hadn't bottled it. And that was quite an admission from a fellow um, head brewer. <laughs> so nice citrusy taste I'm getting. It's a clear pour. I thought you had. Yeah, yeah, because when he was on about it, I thought you had. How's the job going? Everything going all right? I mean, really, from going from a homebrew background, albeit a grain homebrew, not, not what I do, a homebrew, you know, crap homebrew, <clears throat> and getting into commercial, bloody hell, you know, it's definitely where it needs to be. Although I know most commercial breweries at the moment still struggling from, um, obviously, from the backlash of covid and what we don't want is any more bloody lockdowns. We don't want that. We don't need it. We don't want it. Both craft beer, both beer festivals, both the craft beer festival when I was with Craig and obviously Jagman and obviously Mr. Red Dog Brewer, who was there in attendance. Yeah, I'd love to do it, you know, at some stage. I'd love to. And uh, one day when I win the lottery and I've got enough money to set up my own kit, it'd be, oh, it'd be amazing. Could you imagine brewing your own beer? Hey, no wonder Damon from Emperor's Brewery loves it so much. You know, he's going around doing um, imperial starts all over the country and if not the continent. And his name's all over it, people drinking his beers, tagging him in. And it, and it must be so, so self-satisfying. And then also, for those who didn't didn't know, um, at the Robin Hood Craft Beer Festival, 
so Mr. Rad Dog Brewer also brewed his own beers at the, at the for the Robin Hood Craft Beer Festival. Robin Hood Beer Festival, sorry. Oh, Beer and Cider Festival, if you're from Canberra. <clears throat> and uh, had three of his beers on at the Beer Festival. I actually never got around to drinking them. I was steaming on 12%, to be honest. I should have, I should have gone in steady and had more. Yeah, there was some amazing... We, we tell you what, two beer festivals, I had such a great time at both. It was amazing for my wife to get involved in the sec in the Robin Hood, to come down and just to experience it. And to drink some... I mean, in the end, she took some decent beer off me. I think it was a navigation beer at the time. It was like 17, 16, 17%. She took that off me and gave me the 9 or 11%. Good evening, Thomas. So, yes, woman raisin. I've seen that tonight. <laughs> I'm going for that. Yes, I'll be taking my bottles. So, on about Magpie Brewery, if you go on their site, and this is what Adventure Beer is all about. It's about supporting all the locals. Um, Magpie Brewery do a lovely mixed case. I think it's 12 beers for something like 22 quid. But they also are doing the advent advent calendar at the moment. Stunning, a, a very good amount of different beers on their website. Brewed by Mr. Red Dog Brewer as well at the moment. So it's all good. And uh, this bringing out new beers keeps you relevant. I always like to see breweries bringing out new beers. The more relevant you are, the more you're chopping and changing, trying new styles, even up in the ABV, albeit I know duties are swine. It's all good. It all keeps it going. Bringing stuff into bottles. I know a lot of the time that stuff goes in cask, but bringing it into bottles, it's what it's all about. See you later, Mater. Thanks for joining in. So, I like the second half of this. On the form bridge, I feel a little bit more constrained. On this, so the beer is mm -hmm. Pow Pow. It's a local beer to me, as most of these are, to be fair, very local. And it's an award-winning beer as well. It's, um, God, let me get the glasses out. I can't see that. <clears throat> get the magnifying glass out. God, I'm not even drunk. It's a citrus pale at 4.6%. And first time it's gone into bottle for this Christmas. So that is a big thing in itself. And as a fan of beers, more than a bloody beer reviewer, the beer reviewing side is only, only, you know, it's just a hobby. But as a fan of beer, it's great to see as many beers go into bottle. COVID has learned everyone, that breweries especially, that getting your stuff, I mean, I know it get, most of it goes into cask, but getting that seasonal stuff and the stuff you don't bottle into bottles, giving people the chance to try it. It's a gamble, but um, when it tastes this good, it's worth doing. Uh, another good start to the month. Uh, I do like a, a good starter beer. And uh, I would like to be the one, could you imagine being the one choosing the beers for an advent calendar? You've got 50, say you've got 70 beers and you're thinking, what bloody beers do I put in this calendar? If you don't adapt to COVID, the best breweries are the ones that adapt to COVID, that change. If I look at my workplace, be, be, my workplace before I got there, you had the owner and then you had a site manager who was in charge of both sites. He was a bad manager. And the owner has got rid of the manager, basically got rid of most of the staff and changed, changed everything ready for a, a for, you know for a different game plan what's happened is i got uh, set on and now across both sides loads of new people all positive all wanting to do their very best all live through covid and it's amazing how something bad can bring the best out of people because they thinking they're all on the same we're all in the same place we're all trying to do the best for our 
our particular site. I work at both sites, so I'm I'm doing the best for both sites as far as I can. And if you look in the brewery trade, doing the best, pushing boundaries, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, some stuff's not going to work. Keeping your fingers in as many pies as possible, because we never know what's going to happen. That's where it's, yeah, you've got to have your head screwed on, haven't you? You've got to be pushing the boundaries with the pubs, but you've also got to be thinking home deliveries, mixed cases, mixed cases. You've got to think of Christmas. Magpie are doing that. I've seen that with Magpie because they've got this, like this mixed 12 thing, similar to what um, Totally Brew did last year, where they brought a mixed case out with, they only had seven in, Magpie have got 12. Um, but mixed cases, so you can see. <laughs> It's what makes it's what makes um, breweries win. You've got to win. Can't be losing in this day and age. The best companies have, have sat back. They've had a look at look at how the business model is, and they've changed the business model. And I'm no businessman, so I, you know. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to look and change. Yeah, yeah. And you, you look at how the best businesses are winning. Look at Amazon, how they win. And look at how they're winning and adapt it and do it the best you can. You can't do it the same as what they're a multi-billion pound company. But locally, the likes of, we'll use Magpie this time as, as, a, as a, you know, thing. If people want their beers locally, draft beers, bottled beers, because they do draft as well. They do about, I think it's, is it as many as 10 options on draft? They do local ciders. And you deliver that round Nottingham for every delivery. You're making money. You know, you're getting your beer out there. Somebody's drinking it. Oh, Jesus, that's nice. I'll have another one then. I'll order again. It all escalates. It's like a snowball that keeps on rolling. Well, if it's going down there anyway. <clears throat> and if it's on a bloody mountain, it's like an avalanche. So, 17 minutes in. And I'm not even, not even halfway down the glass. That's what you get for yakking. No, sadly not this weekend, mate. Um, I am going up to Fire Rock Brewing in um, Sutton in Ashfield when I work out how to get there. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going up to Fire Rock. Apparently, Bang the Elephants are up there doing a collab this weekend if Michael can actually walk. And, um, yeah, probably be sitting down there. Yeah, put that with that. And uh, we're going up there. I'm meeting up with Liam and Shane. Uh, and the wife's coming. Uh, meeting at three o'clock. Going to be there till nine. And then get the bus back. Half steaming. Well, they're probably fully steaming. And uh, bring some beers back and have a good time as well. Looking forward to it. Never been to uh, Fire Rock. Didn't even, know, didn't even know there was a brewery until this year. It's amazing. Uh, you know, this in the middle of a pandemic that you learn of so many breweries. I knew of Magpie Brewery for years, but some of them I didn't. And since the pandemic, I've learned to so many breweries. It's amazing. It's amazing how many breweries are out there. Exactly. Yeah. So the, uh, the Fire Rock's open from three to nine. So we're going to, I'm working from eight to one, put a bit of extra money in the kitty. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. And uh, we're going to catch the bus about two o'clock, I presume. Try and get up there, find out where the bloody hell it is. And pardon my French, anybody who's in the background, I ain't swore tonight. Yeah, there, touch wood. And it is wood there, yeah, I'm not touching any other wood. And uh, yeah, it uh, should be a good one. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to a, a good afternoon. Hopefully, hopefully the bang the elephant guys are there. It's in Sutton, in Ashfield, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so we're meeting up in Sutton, in Ashfield on Saturday. Um, I did a review of the Firebox Woman Raising Imperial Stout the other week. Oh, my God. It was amazing. 9%. It was like Cote Dior. Is that how you call it? The Woman Raising Ice Cream. It was like that, but in alcohol form, and it was just stunning. Hey, what's this black cat? What's that, a bus? 
Um, it was stunning, and we got talking, and I says, "Well, I'd like to pop up," and uh, and then it was on about the fourth is their third birthday. That's it. So the fourth this Saturday is their third birthday weekend, and uh, I wanted to go to All Two Egos last weekend, but sadly, lots of things were going off all at the same time. Couldn't go, but this weekend I can go. So I want to get there and uh, go and support another local brewery as best as you can, obviously, and it should be a good one. And up until um, Bang the Elephant's Mega Brew were now steaming, even though they existed. So that's even nice as well. And I had a couple of their beers there. I think I had three, actually. Yeah. Never got to review the first because I was already steaming. Oh, drinking 13% beers at 8 o'clock in the morning. You're going to be steaming, aren't you? Yeah. How many people wouldn't be? So like, like in this, nice citrusy beer, easy going, modern, traditional. For me, Mike Pie, very similar to the likes of Lincoln Green Brewery, where it's modern, traditional beers. Um, not full on craft. You don't need to be full on craft. You know, you've got to find your where you are. Um, but a good modern, traditional brewery for me. And look at the bear, crystal clear. Look at that little beauty. Pow pow. I've had it in draft form. Tastes amazing. Got it in draft. Um, Magpie Brew, for those who don't know, people who live locally, though, who watch this after this review, um, you can take your bottles down, they'll sterilize your bottles, rinse them out, sterilize them, uh, pump it in and they squirt a bit of co2 or whatever it is and it lasts for a month and believe me it lasts for a month as well um i know because i've tested it yeah and our man here mr red dog brewer actually brewed it so cheers mate uh, and you know you've got to be proud of anybody who's come from the home brew community that's gone into grain brewing and living the dream you know we all have that hobby that we really want to pursue. And um, gardening has been my lifelong hobby. But I also like the idea of brewing beer. And to, to do that, to live that life. Yeah, it's still a job. You're still bloody working. You know, it's not as easy as anything. But, hey, you can say, I made that. People are drinking that. Yeah. And I got a taste of that this summer. With the old, um, she's 33. <laughs> yeah, fair play there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's a dream most of us would love to do, isn't it? You know, you've got to, you've got to respect it. Oh, for me. Oh, thank God it's not too strong. I'm going to go up the ass steam and get a bollocking on the first night. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't go well with the wife. I've been talking for 24 minutes now, so she's, she's there up the ass. She's thinking, if he comes in steaming, I'm giving him a bollocking. <clears throat> hey ho. It's all good for most of us, isn't it? We all get that bollocking off the wife. We all know his boss. She's the boss. Yeah. Although I'm burning because of the fire. So. I've yacked too long, but a good start to the proceedings, I think. Yeah, sitting there with the yellow card, yeah. Bollocking at the weather. So, crystal clear, golden pour. Looks on camera anyway. Uh, white head. Citrus, but yeah, there's definitely a lemon that seems to pop through for me over this. Certainly citrus on the taste. Would I drink it again? Second time I've had it, I've had it on both draft and in bottle. Great to see it in bottle. Um, for me, a good 4.2 out of 5. Yeah. And uh, good to see the local brewery's doing well, isn't it? A very good start to the month. And uh, yes, compliments to Mr. Red Dog Brewer. I bow my head to you, mate. And to my pie brewery as well. Good on you. And that's it for the... Oh. And yeah, that's it for this beer review. Uh, 
first one out of the way can't wait for tomorrow cheers everyone and uh, thank you for joining in tonight it's been a been a long a much longer second with you but um cheers and uh, we'll see you tomorrow cheers all or oh, maybe a sneaky like late review later but uh, yeah it won't be live cheers